What is going on everybody? Back with another one. Let's hop right into it. I want to go a little bit deeper in this video about the 4 a.m. wake up time and how adopting it has definitely made a difference in my life and how it really, it really helps me. But let's go back a little bit. I want to talk about how it really came about because it initially started from a negative place. With COVID going on, at the same time, my mother's getting ready to transition. All of those things were happening at the same time. I couldn't fall asleep. I legitimately could not fall asleep. I was so stressed out of time. I got my little notes here. So if you see me looking down, you know why. So I couldn't fall asleep at all. I was just so stressed. Mother's getting ready to pass away. I'm watching it happen right in front of me. Everything is shut down. We know what was going on. All of these things are happening at once. My mind is just racing, screaming, right? Doesn't know, like, even now my mind is just constantly going, 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 going. That's why I need to be always staying focused and staying locked in because if not, I just start going all over the place. But all those things were happening at, at, at the same time. I couldn't fall asleep. I was stressed out. I didn't even want to sleep because every time the phone would ring in the morning, it was just more bad news every time. So it got to a point where it's like, I'm trying to delay the morning as much as possible. So I would just be up the whole night, just be up every night, every night. Just, I can't, I just don't even want, because once I, if I fall asleep, if I fall asleep, I know the phone is going to ring and it's going to be more bad news from the hospital or it's a different hospital, or it's a different specialist, or it's something, something, something. That's what it was for a while. So I couldn't fall asleep at all, guys. This is where it really, really started to shape itself. I was already getting up early, but it wasn't the 4 a.m. yet. And I was getting up early. But around that time, that's when I really started to understand time and how time is fragile and it's finite. You know, that, that's where the origin of all this really came from. I really was a witness of, whoa, you don't know what is going to happen an hour from now, two hours from now, a day from now. That's how it was for me. And I was like in front of my face experiencing it. So this is when I was like, okay, well, I'm already up. I'm stressed. I don't know what to do. Let me at least take this time now to start creating some sort of structure or plan of action for things to come. Because the inevitable, is, the inevitable is going to happen. I cannot pretend it's not going to happen. I need to start figuring out what I'm going to do or the next step or something. So I just started to take that time and just started to create a, a plan, strategy and action, just something. It was the quiet time, even though my mind was just racing like crazy, it was the only time at 4 a.m., 4, 5, 6, where at least the phone isn't gonna be ringing. I'm not gonna get another call of just, of just more news. So I just started to create that. That's why I'm always saying, if you need that time to just figure it out, get up before the family's up, you gotta go to work, you know, the phone isn't ringing. You're not getting any text messages. The, you're, the horn, cars aren't making noise. Like all of that is just quiet. This is where you can start increasing the productivity and use this time for your focus. I had no choice but to do it like that. And I'm telling you now it's becoming, you know, it's an asset. Now it's, it's mandatory. Now it has helped me so much that I couldn't see myself not getting up early anymore. But it came from, I had no choice. I really had no choice at the time because it's like, okay, everything, your whole life has changed now. You got to start figuring some things out. Like there's going to be some next steps that you need to start. You have to know what to do. The sooner, the better. So that's why I tell you guys, get up early. You know, if, you, if you're trying to work on something, you're trying to, to build something, you, you're trying to get to that next level and you feel like you just don't have enough time or you just can't, it's just too chaotic, we're well, gonna have to create the time. You're gonna have to create the quiet space. 
You know, you're going to have to create an environment to where you can just be alone. Find a place in your apartment, in your condo, in your house, wherever you got to go, and just turn off everything. If you just need your little notes or whatever you need, only thing that is on should be whatever you need that's going to create productivity that's going to help you get to where you need to get to. Period. Every day, this is, this is the routine when I get up. You know, I take that a lot of time and I focus on, okay, what are we doing to level up? What do I need to do to grow? What do I need to do? What do I need to do? All right, let's start, fig- let's start mapping it out. Every, every time, whether it's 30 minutes, an hour, whatever, time, whatever the amount of time it's going to be. I'll get into that in the next video, like how to start compartmentalizing, how to start scheduling it out. But if it's an hour, hour and a half, 30 minutes, whatever the time is going to be, you're just going to have to get and have your you time. Start figuring it out. And that's what I did for the longest and not even going to bed. It was just like, okay, let's create at least some structure here. Let's create an idea. Let's, let's create a plan because I was just running wild. Even my, when I was even younger, it was just chaotic, just energy. It wasn't, con- now it's more, it's controlled chaos now, but back then I was just wild. The same energy that I have, you know, with the focus and just locking in and having this controlled chaos to get to the next level, that energy was just all over the place doing whatever. Take it from the guy who's 40. That's still learning, that's still making mistakes. But even back then, I was making a ton more mistakes and had to learn the hard way. And still making more mistakes back then and then had to learn even harder. All right, let's get back on him. It's going to suck. It's not easy. But when you want to do something and you want to get to that level, you just need that one reason. You have to make that goal so big that you don't care how uncomfortable it's going to be. You don't care how much it's going to suck. I don't like to get up early. <laughs> I'm not necessarily even a, I'm not an early morning person. I'm really not. But when I have that goal, the goal is so huge and I have such an inspiration that's burned in my head. It's just like, all right, let's get up and do it. Let's just make it happen. And so I want you guys to like think about it like, okay, what is that thing? What is that, that vision that you have? What's the why? You know, we've heard it all before. We've heard it. Find your why. I know it sounds cliche and it might even sound corny to some, but it's just so true. When you can find the why, and that why is powerful and you really lock in, it outweighs the discomfort. Trust me. And that's what I want to kind of convey with all these videos. Like all these videos are, are really like a message to myself and hopefully someone can resonate with it. A lot of these things came from, cause I screwed up. A lot of these things came from adversity and I had to reshape it and make it into a superpower. Me getting up at four in the morning, me getting up at three in the morning, it came from, I was just so stressed. I was just so out of it. You know, losing my mother in front of me. The whole world just shutting down and it wiped out my my job. It shut my job all the way down. We don't know what, you know, and it's like trying to still juggle all those things and have to like create a plan. And I know a lot of people who went through certain, through similar things and they weren't able to bounce back. I was one of the lucky ones. And I really have to attribute it because I'm like, okay, let me try to get a head start. So this is why I share these things with you guys, not to say, Look at me, look at me, I got it right. Now, bow to me, no. It's because I made the mistakes. I learned from them. 
and I made the mistakes again. And it's like, okay, let's, let's not do it a third time. And it's helped and it's made a difference. And some of you guys are going through something similar or, or whatever. And I, I want to, wherever, worse, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is that you're going through, you're going through. But now let's figure out how to overcome it. So just wanted to share that with you guys. More videos are on the way. And we're going to keep showing up. Let's get it.